Good afternoon, everybody. Andrew Steele here. There's been all kinds of discussion lately about Winnebago buying Newmar, and I've been here in Indiana for the last week or so trying to get a feel for, for how everybody around here really feels about this huge acquisition was made. So I wanted to come right to the source and I'm here at the Newmar corporate offices. This is where all the Newmar executives are. And I'm about to go inside right now and sit down with one of the Newmar executives and hear exactly what's going on. Good afternoon, everybody. Today I am here with John Samut in the Newmar Conference Room. And today John's going to tell us a little bit about this whole acquisition, Winnebago acquiring Newmar. John, what's going on here? Huh. I know it was big news, the announcement on Monday that Winnebago Industries uh, has entered into an agreement to acquire Newmar Corporation, a company I've personally worked for for the last 15 years. A lot of questions out there on social media. We've really done a great job communicating with our employee base uh, who are at peace with this decision. Uh, we've talked to our dealers and our suppliers and I appreciate Andrew giving us the opportunity to talk to the public and fill them in a little bit more on where we're at and where we're going with this. Newmar Corporation has been in, in a company for 51 years. We have a long legacy and we're well known for building a quality product, a desirable product, and having some of the great parts and service support in the industry. Matt Miller and his family um, have owned this company since 1984, and uh, Malin celebrated his 80th, uh, Matt's father, has celebrated his 80th birthday in June of this year. And Matt had recently lost a very close uncle and uh, realized uh, kind of like a wake-up call that the family's getting older and we're not gonna always be around forever. So as he looked around, he really, he and the family felt they owed it to Malin, who built this legacy, this company, and has been a pillar in this community of Napanee, Indiana for so many years, that while he was still alive, um, that Newmark Corporation would enter into the next chapter of its, of its history and of its future. Um, so back in April, as Matt began thinking about how do we transition this and who do we transition to? He had spent three years on the RVIA, that's the Recreational Vehicle Industry Association board with Mike Happy, chairman and CEO of Winnebago Industries. He and Mike had fostered a very uh, great relationship working together with RVIA. Uh, they garnered more and more respect and trust for one another. And the more Matt took a look at it, Winnebago did possess many of the same core values that our company has. And uh, as he thought about it more and more and uh, began approaching Mike about the possibility of entering into such a partnership, it made more and more sense. So back in June, um, Matt brought myself along with the other members of the executive management team into the loop and informed of his, of his and his family's intention. And um, we began the process, the due diligence process to enter into this agreement together. This, uh, this transaction should close sometime in November, but one of the things that was really made apparent during the 90 days in which I was privy to the fact that this was about to happen prior to Monday's announcement is that Winnebago is a solid company and that Mike Happy is a great leader uh, of that company and his executive management team. We all got more and more comfortable with their approach and realized that, that Matt was right. They did have a lot of the same core values that we have. We entered into the agreement on Monday and uh, they made it very apparent to us that they fully planned on allowing us to operate independently as a fully owned subsidiary of Winnebago Industries. Now, Winnebago's track record over recent years has shown that with the acquisition of Grand Design, which uh, celebrates its three year anniversary as part of Winnebago next month in October, and the more recent acquisition of Chris Craft Boats out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, that they in fact do acquire these companies and bring them into the family in order to become more successful, not less successful. Uh, Mike Happy's vision and where he's taking Winnebago Industries is to assemble a portfolio of desirable, high quality, high service support, 
outdoor recreational products to be part of the portfolio of the family at Winnebago. He fully intends to do that with Newmar. I guess the best thing I can leave you with is this. Uh, Winnebago Industries certainly isn't acquiring Newmar and hasn't acquired Chris Craft Boats or uh, Grand Design in order to tear the company down. Quite the contrary, what they want to do is provide the resources to enable them to become even more successful than they already are and build on that legacy. And as I began this, I told you our legacy is to build desirable products with the great innovative features that we've done over the years and will continue to do into the future. To build them with the very best quality that we can possibly deliver to our customers and to our dealers. And finally, back it with the greatest parts and service support as, we, as is proof positive by the new service center that was opened last September. So all of that will continue. That is the foundation of the, our company and it will continue on going into, into the, to the years and the decades to come. Matt Miller remains president and has signed a multi-year agreement to do so. The executive management team has signed on board, including myself, to stay on as part of the leadership and guide this company into the future. Um, so I leave you with that. Rest assured, we're in good hands and uh, we'll prove it over the years ahead that the same people that you interacted with prior to the acquisition of Winnebago Industries of Newmark Corporation are still the same people on the other end of the phone that you'll see at the rallies and that you'll see on the dealer's lots going forward. I thank you for the opportunity to share this information with you. God bless. And, and John, can I just add a couple things to that? We, uh, we were speaking earlier about the average employment duration. Um, you say you've had employees that have been here for over 40 plus years? Yes, over 40 years, many over 30. The average uh, tenure of our, of our manufacturing worker is roughly 7.2 years, which bodes very well for building a high quality product because as you know, with turnover comes more training and the more training and less experience, they can compromise the quality of the product. And I just have to add to that, I've been in, in Indiana in this area all week and I've just been, I've been meeting all of the locals, meeting employees of Newmar, meeting customers of Newmar and asking them their, uh, you know, their, uh, their take on it. And everyone just seems to think that everything's going to stay the course and this community is such a tight-knit community, such a grounded community. Just the, the morals of the folks in this community, I'm so impressed by um, just how well everyone carries themselves and, and what a, what a tight-knit community is. And, and I think that this is, it's going to be a really positive thing and I don't see a lot of, of changes. It doesn't seem like anything's going to really change. It's just a, just a different parent company. Well, I ask you and the folks online to think about it this way. Much like Newmar is a major employer in a small community in Napanee, Indiana and Elkhart County, Winnebago Industries is another large employer operating in a small community of Forest City, Iowa. So they value the citizens of the community and the workforce and the family members that work in their, in their various plants and, and offices in very similar way that the Miller family has always done here at Newmar in Napanee, Indiana. So again, the two companies are a good marriage. Absolutely, and you know, it, it is absolutely the American dream to build a company. One thing I'll also add is, I've been interviewing people and I've even heard stories about, you know, when they went through the recessions, they acquired the company in 1984, was it? Uh, when right. the Miller family acquired the company. That's right. And, uh, you know, they've been through a recession in the 80s, uh, through a recession in 2009, and you gotta realize a lot of RV companies didn't even survive through that. So for them to survive through that, and then be able to live the American dream and sell. It's just the American dream and just really awesome to be here and see it. And I, I huge congratulations to the Miller family and Newmar, all the senior executives at Newmar. Can't thank you enough for sharing that with us, John. And really appreciate all of you. And really appreciate all of you YouTube subscribers that are watching and staying in the loop. And hope you're all having a great day. Thank you. Any, anything else you can think of, Dad? Just. You'll see over time that we're still the same company as we were before Winnebago Industries bought us. And we're all only going to get better with their help. Absolutely. An absolute honor, John. I can't thank you, thank you enough. Thanks very much. My pleasure.